Hey everyone, welcome back to my life. Today we are off to Paris. <music> I'm joined with M. It's an M&M &M trip to Paris. M&M in so Paris. This trip has been planned since mid-Jan, but we didn't actually book a hotel until yesterday. Last night. So we knew where we wanted to stay, but I was away, then M was away, and then we were both back in England for one day together that we were like, perfect, now we'll book the I hotel. I literally stepped off a plane from Florida and then booked. So we are here and we're gonna go head out now and get some lunch. We found the roof terrace at the hotel and look, you can just see the Eiffel Tower. This would be, be fun. so amazing in the summer, wouldn't it? Can we have this in our garden? Oh my goodness, imagine. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oh, we. Oui. <laughs> I'm happy to be in Paris. So it's been a few hours. We went for lunch at Soho House, then just ended up it's chatting so to friends for like three hours. It was so good. So, couldn't really show you anything in there, but we found a cute little donut shop. Oh, are we gonna go and have a look? See. Okay, we're gonna go and have a look. We missed the donuts, they're all gone. So we are on the way back to the hotel, walking of course, let me show you how stunning the Eiffel Tower looks right now. Can you even? Like, what an absolute dream. So my friends, it's bedtime. I am so excited to sleep, and all I'm thinking about is the pan au chocolat I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I didn't manage to get one today. How have I spent a whole day in Paris and not had a pan au chocolat, which is what I've been looking forward to? So you bet, first thing in the morning, that is what we're doing. But I'm gonna head off to sleep, and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning, my friends. Happy Paris day two. What a view to start the day with. So gorgeous. I promise I'm wearing different clothes. I just got a jumper on, so I look the same as yesterday. But we got it this morning, went and got an amazing pan au chocolat. And now we're we going to a cafe. We'd love a coffee. Yeah, coffee en route. And then we're going to go to Kith for brunch, which I'm so excited for. The, the problem morning. is, there are too many amazing spots. So we're having to like pace ourselves and do like 16 different coffee shops. <laughs> yeah, we got up at like 6 a.m. We were like, okay, we need to eat immediately so then we can get like an extra meal in so we can eat more of the food here so if you ever wonder if this is the photo spot that everyone comes to as you can see look at this girl absolutely killing it it's been a mere two hours since we went to our first bakery of the day we're now off to the second one and it's now we're gonna get like one hour and a half yeah am i gonna get another pan chocolate i'm sorry no we, we're basically doing a tour of the best pan chocolates around paris there's a queue outside this laundry so i think that says everything look at my brunch i got french toast show them what we got and we got pancakes they said sorry they look so they said good. pancake but it's definitely pancake and this is what they serve and of course got a side of bacon to go with it i don't know if you can hear but we're at the arch triumph and it is so busy and some girls just come and set up a tripod to get cute pictures of her and her boyfriend and it is literally making my life i'm like yes queen get those couple shots it was making me so happy you may have seen it in the vlog the about six Tower, times so um, far it's actually a really important part of paris and people generally come here and take pictures of it and it's our first time seeing it today <laughs> so it's fair to say we do not need to see the eiffel tower anymore we've seen the eiffel we've tower seen. She keeps saying, yeah. she'll go and do the Eiffel Tower bits. I'm like, there's no more to see. I think we're at done the freaking now. tower. Oh. Look at this dress. It's gorgeous. Look at us. It's March. Guys, it's so warm. It's so like warm. it is and it's, it's March. summer. So you guys, our first full day in Paris has come to well, coming to an end. We've got actually a really romantic evening planned out, haven't we? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We are going to sit by the beautiful river, which I just ran down. Yeah. And, we and we're about. for a run. Um, don't know why. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a pre-dinner pizza. By yeah, the we're gonna river. go and have a pre-dinner pizza by the river, watch the sunset, and then later tonight we've got dinner booked with a friend. We're really excited, and it's just gonna be a lovely night, isn't I it? You you look tanned. You've caught the sun I today. Mean, I did come. Oh, you've just Florida. come back from the Bahamas and I Florida. Think I forgot the Bahamas that. Bahamas and Florida with yeah. a little bit of sprinkle of fake tan. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> so I've got this gorgeous little dish dress on. I've got trainers on for now, but I'm going to change into my Chanel Grandad sandals. And my hair is just in a cute little pony, which I've really been enjoying having my hair up since I got it cut shorter, which is not like me. Oh my goodness, I've got some oh, more scar on my face. But yeah, very excited to eat. Well, we executed that perfectly. Although someone took a bite, wasn't me. Look at the view. We're just about to sit and watch the sunset. It is just unbelievable. This trip is literally everything I ever dreamed of. What a dream. You have to do this if you come to Paris. So we smashed out the pizza and now we're about to go and head to our real dinner. Where are we going? 
I'm still working on the pizza. <laughs> I'm still going. We're going to a place called Le Petit Lutia. Yeah. It has been highly recommended. By the King of Paris. By the Paris. King of Paris. <laughs> Their menu is seasonal, so we haven't actually been able to see what they're serving tonight. <laughs> Look how big this mousse is in comparison. This is this is my hand. Oh, it's so good. This is even, oh my god, ridiculous. It is almost 11 p.m. and we're waiting. Tower. We're waiting for the you freaking to the tower. You said to the vlog, I'm not coming back to the tower. We're waiting for the tower to it's sparkle. My it's my fault. I asked to be brought to the tower. We're just, last thing. We need to see the tower sparkle. Oh, we gorgeous, just had gorgeous. the most unbelievable dinner. I will leave the place down below. Nice. I had the salmon. It was unbelievable, but the dessert was chocolate mousse and they bring it out in a big bowl. I mean, you saw it, you share it and it was just divine, wasn't it? It was like bigger than, I tried to put my hand next to it to show you how big it was. It was so it big. It was honestly like my head it was like and a Emily's hands bowl. together. Yeah, And huge. I said to Mona, we just need it for two people and they were like no it comes for four well there was for like eight people it was so good guess what we finished it yeah of course you guys look so magical Good morning my friends, happy Paris day three. I have no idea what we're doing today. We've kept today as like a free kind of floating day. We have some cafes we'd like to go to. You want to go and buy a bag, don't you? I want to buy a bag. And we're just gonna kind of go with the flow. So we just stumbled across an Angelina. When I used to come to Paris all the time, I used to go there every single time for hot chocolate. They do this amazing like thick hot chocolate and then they give you the cream separately and you spoon the cream into the hot chocolate. It is a dream. So if you're coming to Paris and it's maybe like one of your first times, absolutely make a stop there. It's hard to get in sometimes, but if you can get in, absolutely do it. This is such a sweet little area. We've done so much of Paris these last two two days, I think. But because we've not really been mapsing it, we've just been walking. I really haven't got my bearings. <laughs> it's so frustrating. So we met a friend for dinner last night. He lives here and he's like talking about all the different areas. And I'm like, I have no idea what that means. And he's like, Emily. You were there today. We found this coffee shop that they have in Covent Garden that I've been meaning to try for quite a while. It's like blowing up on TikTok right now and they have one here. I didn't know they had one here. I think there's literally one in England, one in Paris, as far as I know. But I'm very excited because the coffee smells unbelievable and I got my Paris chocolate. Look at the little heart, it's so cute. It smells unbelievable. Look at this sun, we're just walking over the bridge. We're heading to the Louvre. That coffee and the croissant was amazing. We made it. We've come to the Louvre. Have you ever been inside? I've actually never been inside, but I googled it when I was here with Matt and do you know how big it is? Yeah, it's huge. I've been in. It's huge. It's a really good one to do actually if you have time. I actually did it on a school trip. It's like a full day, isn't it? No, no, you no. can do it in like an afternoon. That's great to get a step count up. <laughs> I feel like you can't come to Paris and not see the Louvre just to see it. So we've come to this area today specifically because there's a lot of foodie places that we want to do in this area. We almost did like the other side of Paris yesterday and now we're doing this side. So we're going to Cafe Carousel to get some crepes. It's a place that's been highly recommended, but from kind of places that people, sorry, that live in Paris, not from tourists. So yeah, I'm hoping it's not gonna be too much of a touristy spot. I mean, not that that really matters because we're total tourists, but apparently it's quite authentic and the food's really good. Now this is what I to Paris for. Crepes, coffee, salad, and Saying that we want crap sites since the moment we arrived, so I'm very excited about it. So we've arrived at Polen. What are you buying? I'm gonna get a bag, but I don't know which bag. Should Wait. I Google first before I go? No, let's go in and have a look. Okay, um, I was not expecting them to be this nice. I love I'm this. I love bags. this. I love different bags. I yeah. think this is such a different and shape. French brand, so it feels like very really lovely price point, 260. Is this your momentum from the trip? Yeah, because I feel like it's a French brand. They're just, they're just affordable, but a great brand, like great quality. Yeah. What did you get? She said I chose the best seller, and I was like, this is my first bag from Paulette, and she said, welcome to the family. You guys look at this. What flavour is it? So this is pear. But, but does it taste pear. like pear? Well, I haven't tasted it yet. Shall we see? Yeah. Try I it. She said spiced pear. It looks like chocolate. I need the chocolate on the outside. Oh my god, it's actual pear. I want to try. Give us your thoughts then. Okay, so I think it's a work of art. I've seen the TikTok videos and the Instagram videos of him making them. It's phenomenal. 
The taste personally wasn't worth it for me. I did like the pear. It didn't taste too sweet. They did a French toast one, didn't they? We should have got that. We really got that. I went for aesthetics. I feel like it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And it is a work of art, but like, personally for me, taste-wise, it wasn't the best. It wasn't thing. it. But we are going to go to Café de Flore now and get a hot chocolate. We've arrived for a little break at Café de Flore. We just had a lovely 40-ish minute walk from Café de Flore up to Lavenue, which is another cafe. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Food all day. I enjoyed my time at the one we just went to, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend trekking all the way there. I mean, it's beautiful. Go and have a look at it. But I didn't love the whole situation of being there. It was just a bit much, and they weren't particularly polite, you know? And it was quite expensive. I just think there's a lot of other places in Paris that you can spend that kind of money and get a much nicer experience, but it is a beautiful place. But the place we're going now, Lavenue, is oh my goodness so popular guys they were full so we've had to rethink where we're gonna go for some kind of dinner it's like an early dinner so what we're doing we're doing an early dinner and then we're gonna do a late dinner later because i feel like people here eat super late so i think we're gonna go to the peninsula and see if we can get some food there maybe a club sandwich it's kind of what i fancy now I don't even remember. It's like a 15 minute walk, so it's not that far. My lovely friends, as you saw, Lavenue was so busy. Um, I'm low key, not that sad that we couldn't get in because we're at the peninsula and we're having a club sandwich. We've got lots of bread, lots of butter. Wait until you see the spread on the table. It's unbelievable. We really wanted to stay here, didn't we, at the yeah. peninsula? But we wanted to stay somewhere different. So we're on like the south, what? To me, I'm like, it's like the south of Paris. I don't know if you would actually class it as that, but it's below the river. And we've actually found out the location of our hotel really, really great. I'll link it down below. But yeah, this is kind of on the list for like a special trip. I would love to stay at the peninsula. Look at this bread and butter. It looks unbelievable. This is my club sandwich. It looks unbelievable. I'm so excited. And got a cheese plate and then a little salad on the side. So you know I said in my packing video that I'd probably be eating my words and I'd be freezing. <laughs> well, maybe it's happened. No, it's, it gets really cold here really quickly in the evenings and I assumed you would have gone back to the room by now to get changed. It's now coming up 7 p.m. Can you say good day? And we're about to see the sunset. So Em's given me one of her dresses and I'm wearing it as a skirt. I do look a bit ridiculous. However, it's a very cute dress and if i did just have it on with my t-shirt it would look fine but i'll freeze so i'm aware it's a questionable look but do you know what i'm never gonna see these people again so it's fine yeah. i think i look great I think you look amazing. the, I think the night amazing. socks are my favorite bit I, think you always look amazing. I feel like i'm camping so guys this couple have literally just got engaged on the bank of the sand with the eiffel tower in the background how beautiful is that i genuinely love love so much this is making me so happy Good morning my friends, the time has come, it is our final day in Paris and we have so much planned. I think today is potentially the most exciting day, so we're heading to the other side of Paris, we're going to this boulangerie that everyone has been recommending. Actually, the place that we went to for coffee yesterday, they stock their bakes and it was just, oh my goodness, amazing, so I can't wait to have my pan au chocolat. And then we're going to go to Sacre Coeur and just kind of walk around that whole area, I'm so excited. So the case is all packed, this is my baggage, we're going to store it for the day. I actually don't think I've done too badly. I've worn pretty much everything in my case this trip, so maybe this case was necessary. Guys, look at this. We're just walking past the Moulin Rouge. I really want to go, but just this trip we have is so we can actually book a show. I would love to, it would be so good. Flower show, which is why I was like, brunch was unbelievable. I would highly recommend season. I'll link it down below where it is. But we have now walked along to Galley Lafayette and we're going to go onto the roof, have a look at the views, do a little bit of a shop around. We actually haven't done much shopping this trip. I haven't bought a single thing, but I'm only browsing. This I trip. have. And bought a bag. I am browsing because my birthday is so soon, but I would like to go and have a nosy in Galerie Lafayette. I feel like this is one of the best things you can do in Paris. It's I so... Never believe. Ever, <laughs> never, ever, ever. I can't believe that. Let's go in. You guys, the rooftop at Galerie Lafayette is so worth a visit. I mean, it was super sunny today, so I guess we got kind of lucky. But I just love browsing around there. It's so lovely. I feel like, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write like a blog post on what we did in Paris, what I'd recommend, what I wouldn't recommend, some other bits from kind of previous trips that I think you should check out. And I will link it in the description box of this vlog and hopefully it'll summarize everything a little bit. I'll do like a, a food section and all things like that and hopefully it'll help you out. Guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> I need to add up how many miles we've walked over the last like four days because I think it's a lot. Okay, 94,000 steps in the last four days. Guess how many miles we've walked since we got here? Oh, 50. 
56 miles mm. in the last four days. That is just wild. You have no idea how happy I am to be home. The trip has exhausted me. You can probably hear it in my voice, but it was the best four days. I will link as much info as I can down below if you want to go and visit any of the spots that we went to and any outfit things, any outfit questions. All of the links will be in my previous video, which was my pack with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be amazing if you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.